Hey everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play Persona 5 Strikers. Uh, when we last left off, we finally got to infiltrate the jail, and we sort of saw that um, as a monarch, Alice has this kind of huge uh, fuzzy spherical ball thing that was kind of similar to what we saw for the Desires of Persona 5, but it's of a much larger scale, and it is um, comprised of a bunch of tiny desires that she's stolen from people in the form of gems. Uh, pretty cool, and it's a, it's a good, I think, new take on sort of the palaces, um, making them jails and making there be monarchs. I think that's good because it, it, it makes it different, but still similar enough that we are like, yeah, oh my god, this is Persona 5, you know? Uh, but yeah, so that's where we left off, and we found out that there's some wall we need to pass, and there's a secret behind it that we need to find at Alice's school, which happens to be where we went to school. So I'm wondering if she's going to be a character that we saw, maybe in Persona 5, like in the background, or even someone you interact with for a quest, and that she sort of went, underwent a makeover because she was like an ugly duckling in school, got bullied a lot, and that's why now she sort of takes her fashion so seriously, and it's sort of this big desire within her. Um, but yeah, so we're going to the school. I think that's where we're supposed to go now. I guess we're going to meet at the hideout and go together. I'm not sure, but uh, I just want to say really quick, thank you guys so much for your support of the series. Uh, it's doing well on the channel, um, and it makes me really happy. I hope you're having fun. And uh, sorry it's been a couple of days. Uh, my busy week was last week with my tasks. My tasks. My exams, I meant to say. And uh, my homework. And so I should be good next week to get back on track with my schedule. Uh, but thank you guys for your nice comments and your support and your patience. So uh, let's get going though. I think we need to go to yeah LeBlanc and see. Maybe we're all going to walk over to the school together. Or they want me to go buy items. I don't know, but let's get to work. Uh, all right, let's gather at the hideout. Never know what voice to do for Morgana. Uh, go to destination. Oh, that's pretty cute. Uh, discuss. Go to the velvet room. Okay, so yeah, I think go to the school, right? Go to the destination. Are we sure this is right? I'm not seeing anything weird. I have no doubt. This place gives me the same sensation as when I touch the birdcage. I think this is what would bring me back here. Getting nostalgic? It hasn't changed a bit. Let's pop in and see what's up. I may have graduated from here, but it still feels wrong to go in without permission. Permission granted. I'm still a student here, you know. Still, I had no idea Alice Hiragi graduated from Shujin. I didn't either. And I figured a student council president would know better than anyone about celebrity graduates. Perhaps she had a past here that she wished to erase. What do you mean? Those voices we heard in her jail. Those cutting words and that painful cry. I don't know whether she was one of the instigators or the victim of such bullying. However she experienced it. Left such a gaping wound in her heart that she refuses to even acknowledge the truth of the matter. And that truth took place right here. So that's why Shujin has a secret room. <laughs> well, we should get moving. What's next? We may not be in Shibuya, but this place is still linked to its jail. Inputting the proper Emma keyword should permit access as usual. Okay, let's try it. Everybody ready? Yeah, we're ready. Keyword, Wonderland. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. Yo, am I going, like, straight to the boss fight? I, don't, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> I didn't take the necessary precautions for this. Uh, we'll be fine, though, right? You know, trial and error. That's what we do here. Uh, we fail. But we get right back up. So, it's a classroom? Is this what a school is like? It's rather different than how the internet makes it appear. The cognitive distortion's really strong here. What's going on? Hey, look! Ah, a ghost! Are you seriously crying? I just had major corpse party vibes right there, and I was not okay with it. Ugh, how pathetic. Trying to get us to go easy on you. You tricked him the same way too, didn't you? No, I, I'd never do that. What? What is this? God, you're disgusting. Serious! Why are you still alive? <sighs> Do 
myself in. And die already! Yo, it is Corpse Party, SOS! SOS! Understand what I was seeing, but I have no idea. Can't you get it through your thick skull? No one wants you around. Oh, the lock keeper. Okay, I can kind of see it. Oh shit! What the hell is going on? This thing just flipped out out of nowhere. The room's also changed. There's these prison cells. No time. Here it comes. So I'm starting to think and said that maybe she like won the affection of maybe a popular boy and so that's why they're like, oh did you trick him? There's no way he would like you because they're all jealous of her? I don't know. I don't know if her like being less beautiful has to do with it, but that's what the situation seems like. I don't know. Look sharp, folks. I like to hypothesize too much. Let's go! Let's read the enemy's movements and respond in time. Weak to Mabufu, you say? Oh, I see an all-out attack. I don't know if he's getting hit by these. I hope he is. Can he just summon them endlessly, though? Like, if that's the case, I don't... Oh. We're just gonna go ham. Whoop. Whoop. Thank you! Sophie's the best! Oh god. Yeah! That's why! Oh my god. Thanks. She's gonna run around. I don't think it's weak to any of this. Let me switch back to Sophie. There she is. Excuse me, I don't want to get hit. Girl, what do you think I'm doing? He just like turns invisible. Very interesting. Hi, sir. Damn. Ah, thanks, Mitaba. Gotta use those baton passes, am I right? Uh, I don't know if he's weak to any of this. Let me go back to where she is. I'm going to. Oh, that was awesome, Sophie. Right on the butter, Sophie. <laughs> you can thank me later. Oh, God. Do, 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 do. Out of the way. Move out the way. We moving. Wait, the electricity's out of the question. Remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> trying to, you know, get his master arts up, too. Oh, God. Yo! Uh, yo, I'm trying. <laughs> I was trying to move. Oh, come here, friend. There we go. Oh, not enough SP. Damn. I use my persona attack. Is it light? I don't know. Sometimes she just uses strength in. Oh, nice. Oh, he left. Damn. How's my showtime gauge looking? It's still really low. Okay. 
Oh god. Nice. Yes, let's go. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love her. Too. Nice data sync. Performing square or midair square attacks with good timing will increase attack power by one upgrade level. Nice. Okay, cool. Just keep spamming that AHA for now. Whoops. Sorry, Ryuji, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, where am I? There I am. Sure. I'm going too. I'll do it. You're mine. I'm going too. You can thank you later. Let's go. <laughs> Call that a chain attack. Let's go. Take it. I'm going to. Everybody stay focused. Out of the way. Whoa. That's so good. You're going to get Okay, 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 I was gonna say the showtime gauges. I don't know if there's an easy way to look at that or not. Uh let's do let's see uh Oh, it's looking at the pixie. I'm not trying to analyze the pixie. I was just trying to Yeah, we'll just Oh god. It's normal attack. Oh, in my sights. Perform follow-up after square square triangle. Okay. Whoop. We run and we go and oh, is that a mask? Oh, whoop. Hi, sir. Whoa. Ooh, is our review D? Trying to get you out of the way, but it wasn't working. Let's see, where is he? There he is. Hello? Oh god. Oh, nice. I was hoping she'll cast Toha because I don't have any SP, so. <laughs> Come on, Sophie. Damn, why do you have to leave? Just being a freaking oh god. You and me. Nice. Oh, he's almost dead. Come on. What? Just that hits the face. Nice. Let's go. Oh, no. 
Uh, by Corin, yeah, I don't know if that was the person I wanted to level up, but that's okay. Oh, also, okay, so I guess they all get experience. That's cool. Did my bond level go up? What was that rumbling? The birdcage in the jail is now unlocked. We will be able to access it. For real? It appears our most recent target held the key. In other words, we defeated the warden guarding the key. A warden in Alice's memories. A key to the cage in her jail. So a different shadow held the key, not Alice's? What are you going on about? Uh, oh, nothing. I was just thinking how many differences there are from the palaces. Yeah, same Morgana, honestly. Good point. The palaces don't have any rooms like these. Or wardens guarding keys in hidden locations. It's as if the more we learn, the messier the situation gets. If it weren't for Sophie, we wouldn't have even made it here. Have I been helpful to the Phantom Thieves? Mm-hmm. You know it. Praise accepted. Aww. Well, we'll praise you all you want later. We've got a birdcage to bust open. True. We have one last task in the real world first. Let's send Alice the calling card. Take back those desires. That wasn't too bad of a boss fight, honestly. Like, I'm glad I had Sophie in my party, though. Uh, I mean, I guess I had the Aha skill, but her Koha really helped. Okay, all that's left is send in the calling card. What should it say? We're after the desires that Alice is seizing from the people whose hearts she changed, right? Then don't we have to write something like, We shall take back the desires you've seized! Smart. Using the same logic that works on treasures is probably our best shot. Once the desire takes form, we can steal it. If we return the victims their own desires, everyone should return to normal. So, what'll happen to Alice then? Well, she should be having a change of heart and confessing soon after. Actually, that's not set in stone. What we're stealing this time are the desires that Alice seized from others. This isn't her own desire or ambition. Or like the treasure we found in palaces. There's no way of knowing whether or not Alice's heart will be changed. Even if we rescue her victims, without a change of heart in Alice, this will just turn into a pointless cycle. But if the calling card works, her desire will manifest inside the birdcage. That creates a high probability that we'll encounter Alice's shadow there. We did cause quite a scene destroying the loft. Whether through words or fists, don't we still have the opportunity to change her heart via her shadow? Then let's do it! Let's take her head on! Oh, uh, sorry. I know that's the dangerous approach, but... If you guys are all up for it, I want to rescue Alice too. Not just her victims. Alice said she wanted to be a ray of light that could inspire people suffering through life. You mean when she was on TV? I don't know if she really meant all that. Well, I do. I get why she said it. Because of all the bullying in her past. I mean, doesn't it seem like we saw part of Alice's trauma in the secret room? Trauma? It's like an invisible wound in a person's heart. It comes from living through painful experiences. A wound in a heart. Maybe that trauma's the whole reason the jail formed. Trauma distorted Alice's heart, giving birth to the jail. That is very similar to palace generation. I've got to say it's possible. But how is that trauma relevant to Alice's current behavior? This is just a hunch, but I think she sees what she's doing as some kind of revenge against the kinds of girls who treated her badly. Stealing someone's dude right in front of her as revenge to Alice? Oh, 
That's pretty sick. But her shadow's operation is way too massive for that to be all. She just has too many victims already. What if she simply kept escalating because no one was there to stop her? Becoming a monarch must create an awful amount of distortion. All that only makes me want to help Alice more. If her heart's grown that distorted, then I want her to at least remember how it feels being a ray of light for somebody. Is she beyond helping at this point? I don't know. But there has to be someone who at least tries. We can't just abandon Alice. Oh, Lady On. You're right. You're so kind because you share a dream. Yeah, I mean, they do, really. That could be. I just can't believe she was lying when she said that. I'm with you. Let's do it. No objections here, either. However, should we engage her in combat, we must avoid taking her life at all costs. Absolutely. That's out of the question. Best case scenario, just talk her out of it. Guys, do you think I could write the calling card this time? There's something I need to tell her personally. Uh, it's all yours. I don't know. Make it badass. It's all yours. Go for it. Thanks. It'll be great. Writing a calling card? Need any help? Ooh, you can help me with the phrasing, Sophia. Awesome. All we gotta figure out now is the delivery. <laughs> I may have a plan for that. This is a special reunion of the Phantom Thieves. We gotta do this right. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't tell if Morgana was talking. Uh, is there anything you forgot to do? Make sure you get everything wrapped up by tonight. Once we send the calling card, there's no backing out. Okay, sounds good. Let's real quick go peek at the shop. I don't know if there'll be anything new. Okay. Usually it changes like every dungeon, so... Uh, just check. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything different. Um, I got everyone protectors. Let's sell and maybe buy some items then. Are you sure? Are you sure? I just picked two. I meant to do four. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, one, two. Are you sure? All right, so let's get some items then. Uh, let's see. I don't want to go crazy. Oh yeah, we we got the um the what the heck is it called? The bond skill, right? For uh, having a sale. So 20 HP, 50 HP, 100 HP. That's definitely a way better deal. Uh, cure sleep and cure brainwash. Oh, the brainwash isn't bad since we can like shake the stick and get out of it. So maybe we'll get. Uh, I wish she had some SP stuff. I think we can go buy some drinks actually. So let's buy a couple healing things though. Um, or we can only buy two. Uh, resupplies and limited items. Oh, trophy or an impulse buyer. Okay. Uh, when an item goes out of stock, it may need to be resupplied. Items like these will restock after enough time passes. Oh, interesting. Realistic. Weird, but okay. Uh, try checking back after fighting battles in the metaverse or progressing through the story. Okay. Uh, there are also some items that will be cease being stole. Oh my god, cease being sold and will not be restocked over time. Okay. On hold. That's very interesting. Um, I guess I'll just buy what we can. So I can buy four of them? Okay. I'll just stock up. Um... How many of these can I buy? One. Okay, I'll buy it. Why not? Uh, Cure Sleep. We have three brainwash things. That's really all I'm, I'm like super concerned about. Let me check these out real quick. Uh, reduce. I'm gonna save on it. Let's go see what SP items we can get. Um, we well, should be at the various vending machines. What's up, Sojiro? Oops, I pressed the wrong button. I hope you guys are doing well, by the way. I don't even think I said that. Um, I kind of got jumped into the, the fray of battle there at the start. Um, okay, there's one back here. Let's... Is this the one that had, like, the placenta drink? Which is really, really weird. Uh, are you gonna get something to drink? Maybe. Uh, Arjunade, 5 SP. Yeah, blended with... Okay, that's disgusting. So let's, uh... How many... I can get two. Yeah, we're just gonna, you know, get them. Just so we have them. Um... Whoop. We can always, you know, grind money and stuff. I'm not really concerned. Sorry, I'm like the kid. <laughs> I get used to different. Oh, what'd you say? You know, I read online that it's illegal for minors to smoke cigarettes. 
that's that's true. Uh, it's weird that that's there then. Uh, was there something you needed to do at the supermarket? Uh, maybe. We've got what you Let's need. Let's see. Heals twenty to all allies. Ooh, forty to all allies. You know what? Uh, so that's what you're getting? Oh god, I can buy so many of them. Let's just get one Thank of you those. Very much. I'll be waiting for you. Look at the size of these things. Is this a supermarket or a warehouse? Yeah, I don't know, Morgana. Um, okay, let's see. Let's go to uh, Central Street. Go check out some more uh, SP items, hopefully. I think it's usually only the vending machines. I'm not sure, though. Uh, that's just Persona 5 logics kicking in there. Uh, let's mm -hmm. see. Are you going to get something? Yep. I'm not going to read those anymore. HP, HP, HP. Aw, boo. Um... I'm not. No, we have a lot of HP items. Not that we probably couldn't use more. Uh, there are so many clothes here, but all the ones designed by Alice are sold out. Yeah, I think we may have read that already. My Big Bang Burger. Ah, welcome to Big Bang Burger. Open 24 hours a day because there's no day or night in space. Hi, welcome. Thank you. 20. Oh, wow. Look at these. 20 HP to all allies. How many can I get? This is a good deal. Get that. 20 HP to one. 30 to one. All right. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you. I know I'm like spending all my money, but I think it's good we just have some hey, stuff. Uh, sleep, HP, brainwash. Uh, I think we're good. I have a lot of HP stuff. The ones that do all allies is nice. So that at least if we run out, out of SP for healing, we can use those. Um, hi, welcome. Our meat buns are always fresh and piping hot. That's good. Uh, let's see. HP, HP, HP. Oh, thank you. Bye. Wonder, I think it's only vending machines have SP, which is unfortunate. Uh, you could really get lost in here. Welcome. Uh, dizzy rage and fear. Do, do not worry. A soothing towel. I need that. Wide eye drops. Uh, find anything useful? Yeah, not sure. Um, okay, so that's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the velvet room really, really quick. Wait, what level are we? Hold on. Oh, wrong menu. <laughs> Uh, oh, let's look at the bond points first. I know I'm jumping all over the place. Uh, let's see. So, uh, do, 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 bond level increase more quickly to unlock question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, interesting. We could get, we could get more money, uh, more items, lock picking, pass appeal. Let's do this one, actually. Um, because I, I realized in that battle, sort of, the merit of um, baton passing as much as you can. It's just that sometimes I'm button mashing so hard that I, I don't see their face pop up in the top left fast enough. Uh, let's scope okay. out the velvet room. Please, this way. Yeah, let's go. Lavenza, my home girl. Hello, Trixie. Uh, let's see. Let's register our you wish personas. To the what uh, you all of would them. you like to register? Yes, I would. This persona has been registered um, let's in its see. Can we create any new ones? New okay, we can get Huapo and Slime. Uh, it seems let me see. Huapo is Miragi, so I'd lose her and Mabufu. I mean, I could summon them back. She does have Amrita drop, which is not a bad uh, skill to get. Um, I'd probably pick her over the slime, so I can I can, can buy some people power. back. So let me make Choose her. Choose which skill to inherit. And we'll give her Aha, and then we'll also give her. Um, we'll give her Psy is this as well. The persona you'd like? Uh, sure. Be born anew. Can I skip this? That's not a good sign. Is it gonna break? Did I fail? Oh no. Uh. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Aw, oh, it did fail. Damn, I love how the screw popped out and hit her head, though. That was cute. Usually, if you can't skip it after the first time, that means it's a failure. Uh, I am Silky, yeah. You who has gained a new mask, my master. Allow me to take care of your heart. Sure. That's really unfortunate. Ah, uh, this was different than expected. Do -do 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 -do. Fusion accidents. During Persona Fusion, there's a rare chance of fusing a different persona than the one that was expected. Can't be that rare, obviously. 
Uh, personas born from fusion accents are more likely to receive stat bonuses, so they may start out fairly strong. Okay. That's not bad. She does have the Aha and the Psy. I really wanted the Amrita drop, though. It seems that it can gain new power. I could try again. Did I not use the Succubus last time? Oh, do you desire this? Then it requests. Oh, how much money do I have? Hold on. Ah, uh, la 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 la. It seems that it can gain new power. Um. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, let me. Can I look at my? Okay, great. Let me look at my personas really quick and see what I have going on here. Okay, so we've got. Um, let me see the stats. Okay, so we got Garu. We've got Zio. Garu. Oh, no, that's I'm switching people. Ha ha ha. I was like, wow, I have a lot. This is it. Okay. So we have Bufu, Eha, Sai. We've got Garu. We've got. Okay, we do have Fire, Zio, Dia, and I'll sleep. Blah, 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 blah. I wanted to see. What is Soul Thief? Drains SP when inflicting an ailment on one foe. It drains the foe's SP or my, my. I think the foe's SP. Okay. That's cool. Um, all right. So I think we have most of the elements here, uh, minus light, but we do have Sophie who I could use for light pretty uh, regularly. Um, the Amrita drop would be nice, but I'm going to hold out and just save our money for now. I don't want to spend all of the money. You know what I mean? Um, let me save real quick. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, Huapo will be my next plan. But I, I might wait, just so we, we have a little bit of money left. Uh, just because I have a feeling... Uh, returning already? Yes, I'm heading back. Uh, just because I feel like after we finish this boss, there'll be new weapons and stuff. And so I want to have a little bit of money saved up for that. Because I do want to keep everyone pretty up to par with weapons. Um, I don't know how much difference weapons make in this game. That's still to be determined. But, uh, they seem to have somewhat of an effect. Okay, so let's go back to LeBlanc, and, uh, let's see, we're at about 32 minutes, so what I think I'll do is, uh, I'm gonna call an episode here, um, and we will pick up next time with sending the calling card and, I guess, oh. fighting our first monarch, which is pretty exciting. Um, it'll be interesting to see... I'm guessing there has to be more monarchs than just her. I'll be interested to see if they're all jails, if they all have sort of this theme of um, a guard, like basically keeping the keys to their cell, you know what I mean? And that's kind of the vibe I think they're trying to go for there. So I don't know, I'm excited to see how the game keeps going. I'm having a blast so far. I hope you guys are really enjoying it. Uh, sorry if the videos are a little short, but um, thank you guys for your support. As always, feel free to leave a like, comment, favorite, or subscribe, whatever you guys are feeling. And until the next time, lights off, dark out.